It's time for our third spotlight of the day. This one highlights a truly innovative approach to addressing agriculture and water, both of which we've talked about. Gulf Inc. is deploying state-of-the-art technologies in the areas of aquaculture, hydroponics, and renewable energy. I would like to introduce our two presenters, Kristen Cooper, who is Director of Sales and Marketing for Gulf, and Gail Schwartz, who is a consultant for Gulf now, but is former state senator from the 5th Congressional District of Colorado. <laughs> I didn't go into Congress. <laughs> Typo, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Hi, thank you, Greg, for the introduction. Gail and I are excited to talk with you all today um, about the challenge, challenges that we face through innovation and in, dis, um, in diversification, what the vision of agriculture can look like by 2030. We have heard a lot today about what is happening in the world, that we know that we're going to have about 3 billion extra people that we need to feed by 2050. And that means 100% more food production will be required. So how are we going to achieve that? And what are we going to do about it when we have climate changes, for example, affecting our oceans and that we are now, according to The Economist, in 2015, um, overfishing is reaching catastrophic levels. When we look at the US in regards to fish, Seafood is actually, this surprised me, the number two greatest contributor to our trade deficit behind oil. It's also 90% of our seafood is imported annually, where only 2% of that fish is ever inspected and also derived from non-sustainable resources. So what in Colorado as we move on? We've heard many discussions today on climate change, on water, and the, the expectation we could double our state's population by 2050. So what is it that we need to do around production and income that will really provide us with the food, the fresh food, the fruits, and the vegetables that we need that Mayor Hancock discussed today? What we have is a lot of excitement in this room about diversifying agriculture, our traditional agriculture, and expanding that portfolio so that by 2030, we can introduce an industry around aquaculture and hydroponics and the technologies to support Colorado. So today, by 2030, we are seeing that uh, U.S. is about 1% of the global uh, seafood production. Colorado is 11th in the U.S with about a 12 to $15 million aquaculture industry. In Colorado, we have an opportunity to integrate aquaculture into our economy and into our agriculture industry. And what we're looking at here is looking at this infant industry that within the next 15 years, we could grow and we could actually compete with the state of Mississippi and have an industry that could be about 20, $750 million producing 800 jobs and uh, this is an opportunity for Colorado to attract ca investment capital and to build the capacity through production, processing, and distribution to national and international markets. So what are the benefits? We have an opportunity to conserve land that we have for growing food because we know we're going to be competing with land with respect to agriculture, with our population growth. Also, we have a significant issue around drought cycles and that threaten productivity of our land from time to time. So here you see a picture of a salmon facility that could produce 4.4 million pounds of production per year on two and a half acres, maximizing the production per acre and the earnings to the agriculture community. So with respect to protein and protein production, we can conserve water. As we heard, that's so important. That it is an important uh, tenant of the Colorado Water Plan. 86% of our water is in agriculture, and we can support water conservation and energy efficiency by using just over 10 acres of 100% recycled water to support that production on an annual basis with some inputs due to some of the evapotranspiration uh, uh, problems. We also have an opportunity. We have an important resource in the state of Colorado with geothermal water. 
we have not as a state captured the opportunity that will allow for growth in that industry that also could provide a competitive edge as we can grow such a broad range of fish as a result of aquaculture in the state of Colorado. And lastly, conserving food and resources and pr produce, we can produce more food and more protein by diversifying our agricultural portfolio in Colorado. As you see, an input of 1.5 pounds for one pound of salmon versus seven pounds for one pound of beef. And this is an opportunity to increase the edible yield of, of, the, uh, of the protein we're consuming. So this is not a zero-sum game, but it is an opportunity for color to diversify, integrate, and grow to be a very competitive market in the United States. Thank you, Gail. And as we look at Gulf and what Gulf would love to do is partner and collaborate with the state of Colorado in the areas of generating um, diversification with hydroponics and state-of-the-art aquaculture where we can produce over 40 plus varieties of fish. It, through that and with the economy of helping it, we can create jobs. We can also generate revenue with year-round production in hydroponics as well as looking and focusing on education and training, which we all know here in this room is extremely important, as well as generating agritourism and value-added products. So I know what my why is. <laughs> my question is, is what is yours? And what will you do to propel your vision to help expand agriculture here in Colorado for future generations to come? Thank you. And if you'd like to reach out to us, here's our contact information. Thank you. Hope to hear from you.